எனது அன்பு மகளுக்கு நான் என்னுடைய அன்பு மடலை எழுதி கொள்வது என் செல்லமே நீங்கள் எங்கு இருக்கிறீர்கள் In a village in northern Sri Lanka, a mother writes to her missing daughter. Nalla suvama iripingal endru ninaithu konde amma vaandu varugindren. Agale nee eppa engalidam varuvai. She sends the letters to the many unofficial camps where thousands of displaced Tamils from Sri Lanka's civil war remain. In the hope that someone will read them out in the madal yaravathu kaiyil kidaithal enadu magalin peyar thwaraga inda kadathe en magalidam koduthu vidungal for four years now chandra has been searching for dwaraka who disappeared with thousands of others at the end of the war enadu magal thwaraga avan jeltti pidichathu Chandra's search has taken her to the UN, human rights groups, and even the president himself. Still, she has heard nothing. So she goes from temple to temple, making offerings to the gods, and even to the fortune teller. Chandra is not alone. Thousands of mothers across the Tamil North are still searching for their children. International organizations say up to 100,000 people remain unaccounted for. The filmmaker Lena Manimekele traveled undercover across the region now under military occupation. Human rights activists speak of a cold war here, a population under surveillance. Can we undertake video? No, no. Yeah. Yet despite the climate of fear, relatives of the missing have taken to the streets. They're determined to make their voices heard. Among the crowd is Jaya. She blames herself for the disappearance of her son, Ravathan, a Tamil tiger who surrendered at the end of the war. இவே ஒரு குறிப்பிட்ட காலத்துக்கு வச்சிருந்து ஜாதகளை கொலை செய்து போட்டு சித்திரவதை செய்து போட்டு தூக்கி இவே புனமா நியாயம் எறிஞ்ச மாதிரி இவே எறிய அப்படிலாம் இவை செய்ய வேண்டிய தேவை எங்களுக்கு இல்லை தானே இந்த அரசாங்கம் டிஸ்அபியரன்சஸ் ஹேவ் அ லாங் ஹிஸ்டரி இன் திஸ் கண்ட்ரி ஃபார் फ्रॉम தி டாமல் நார்த் இஸ் திஸ் மெமோரியல் டு தௌசண்ட்ஸ் ஹூ டிஸ்அபியர்ட் இன் தி 1980ஸ் மோஸ்ட் மெம்பர்ஸ் ஆஃப் அன் அவுட்லோட் சிங்கலீஸ் அண்டர்கிரவுண்ட் ரெபல் மூவ்மென்ட் Ashila is herself Sinhalese. She's never found out what happened to her father who was taken from his home more than 20 years ago. மூலிகத்தை அடங்கின வெடித்தரா மேஷ்வேக சாம்பாண்டு அப்படி தின அனகாட்டும் ஏக யா ஏ வேலாவே ஜீனிவா அரகின கியா மே அதுதாங்குவான்கே டொக்குமெண்ட்டை கக்கதல ஏ வரகின ஜீனிவாயா கியா எத்தகோட ஏயா ஏ வேலாவே அதுதாங்குவிரியும் வேணுவியும் ஃபைட் கரா தன் ஏயா லங்காவே அதுதாங்குவியும் சித்தக்கரணும் 
Human rights activists say under President Rajapaksa, someone is abducted every five days, with snatch squads operating across the country. It is denied forcibly by the government, yet so many tell the same story, how suspects are taken away in unmarked white vans. They are never seen again. <laughs> You won't die, you won't live, you will just disappear. When you know you are white fan, you are dead. Rasir and her husband Shahil Malavi were Muslims who were forced to flee their home by the Tamil Tigers during the war. She says the army moved in on him after he tried to bridge the divide between Muslims and Tamils. Left to raise three boys alone, Rasia tried in vain to find Shahil. To this day, her boys live in fear of the white vans. For Sri Lankans, the white van has become a symbol of government repression and abuse of human rights. These boys lost their father, Pragit Eknagoda. He was a prominent Sinhalese journalist, cartoonist, and critic of the regime. Even now, there is a cold war going on against journalists and against people who have decent ideas. And if we keep silent, it will happen again. <laughs> After Iraq, Sri Lanka has the highest number of disappearances in the world. Fewer than half the 12,000 cases on record have been solved. President Rajapaksa says claims of government involvement are nonsense and says he set up a commission to investigate. But human rights organizations say an independent international inquiry is needed. It can't come soon enough for Mangea Karasi and her daughters. Their father was taken by a white van five years ago. <laughs>